Yeah, what's up everybody? Reggie from the Front Row. We're, we're in Noblesville, basically Indianapolis, but we're in Noblesville at Klipsch at Warp Tour 2016. Man, how's it going, dude? So far, so good. All right, man. You go out, guys. You go on stage in a little bit, and uh, not a stranger to Warp Tour, man. How's it? Uh, how's Warp Tour treating you this year? Uh, this year's been great. Uh, the turnouts have been awesome. We have a new uh, new track that we released. And the response has been awesome. So awesome. Yeah. New album coming out. What about next month? I think August nineteenth. Yeah, man. Was it uh, desolate? Uh, desolate Dubai. Dubai. I keep wanting to say Desolate Drive for some reason when I read it, and yeah, it's not the same thing. Man. Yeah, not, not the same thing. <laughs> not at all, man. Desolate Divine, man. You're following up Hold On Pain Ends, yep. um, which was immensely successful for you guys, whether it's critics, fans alike. Everybody loved that record, it seems like. Um, coming off of that much success, did you have to kind of put that behind you? Were you able to channel that, or um, what was the like coming off of that going into this record? Uh, I mean, we kind of wanted to build off of stuff we had done but i mean as musicians we always want to be evolving so this record's definitely different but i think people are still going to hear those glimpses of old color morale records right. and you know the color morale sound is still there right right you gotta keep you can't it's important to evolve but i feel like with evolution when it comes to music there's like too much evolution and not enough there's like a fine line is yeah. is that something that you guys it's easy for you when it comes to evolving, changing, or, I mean, what do you guys, how do you guys feel about when it comes to evolving as a band? Um, I mean, for us, it happens pretty naturally. I mean, the longer we do this, the better we get at our instrument and, you know, writing songs and stuff. And, I mean, our musical tastes have all changed, and we're a very diverse band when it comes to, like, what people listen to. Right. Um, but... I feel like the, the new record is a very natural progression for us. Um, I mean, every song on that record we, we love. We were talking, we're saying, you know, the one of the filler tracks or whatever, like, could have been a single on the last record. Like, it's just, there's not a track that we don't like on the new nice. record. Nice. So. Oh, that's awesome. And when it comes to playing new new music, especially on Warped Tour, I mean, how are the fans gravitating towards the newer, the newer track on this? Uh, great so far i mean today our crowd was insane so uh awesome. especially during that song so awesome awesome man um i mean i feel like when it comes to warp tour when you've been on it once or twice you know what to expect um how is this warp tour um is it similar to others you have done is it different i mean compare this one to previous warp tours you can't compare it to other tours that yeah. that can't be done it's yeah. impossible you can't really prepare for it either if you've never done it yeah. um but is it easier as you go when you've gotten a couple world tours under your belt? You definitely get in the swing of things. This year's a little different with stage setups. Okay. Um, there's less stages than there's been, and it's kind of separated by genre. I feel like there's less bands, too. Yeah. Um, so, but it's honestly been nice. I feel like, you know, the fans of heavy music can go to the stages that have the heavy music, and the fans of the pop punk like bands can go to those stages, and I think that it benefits the fans. Uh, a lot, and I mean, so it's only our second time doing more tour, yeah. but I mean, every day it's just a routine of, you know, get up, figure out what time to play, <laughs> get over the stage before you play, right. pack up, <clears throat> get food, so I mean, at this point, I mean, the first week's always a little rough, but at this point, I feel like we're a pretty well-oiled machine. Yeah, definitely, and now we're about, what, halfway through the tour now, yep. there's about a month left, now you're really kind of into the swing of things, yep. the kinks are worked out. Uh, but I caught you guys last year down in Louisville, Louder Than Life, a huge festival. Um, when you kind of gone up, I talked to Levi from Miss May I the other day in Chicago, and he, he mentioned that once you mm -hmm. kind of graduated up to the, the upper echelon when it comes to festivals and playing with those bands, it's always fun to go back down and play, like the Warp Tour style and stuff like yeah. that. Um, now that you played like Louder Than Life at some of the bigger festivals, what's it like coming back and playing a Warp Tour? I mean, the, the biggest difference is the crowd. Um, Louder Than Life and a lot of those more like active rock festivals, yeah. it's generally an older crowd mm -hmm. and they don't interact the same way that That's you very know, the Warp Tour crowd is the Warp Tour crowd's younger, <laughs> so there's a lot more crowd surfing. More and, circle pits, and, maybe a know, ball of death in there. Yeah, and I mean, on some of those radio festivals, we've had days where we played and we've been like, oh, wow, like people really didn't like us. And then like, we'll get off stage and like people will be like, oh, you guys were great. And we're like, Really? What? But I mean, it's just having to get used to, you know, older people don't 
want to crowd surf and stuff and they want to just stand and enjoy the music whereas yeah. like kids are more apt to want to move around yeah. and stuff so. and in those festivals the, the older fans they don't want to be touched at all yeah. they just like you bump in and it's like fight starts it seems like yeah. and now it's like they encourage it here it's yeah. kind of fun yeah. um, so it's always fun to go to those and come, and then do a warp tour especially when you do them back to back I know Bullet did Chicago Open Air and now they're in the middle of a warp tour so that's yeah. got to be really fun for them yeah. um, but with the record releasing next month um, what are we looking at for the next for the rest of year lots of touring 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 yeah so. we'll be touring a lot um i can't say with who or when right, but right. we'll be we'll be on the road pretty much all fall okay um we have a new single that came out uh yesterday it'll be available for everyone to listen to friday awesome um and then we'll have another single come out before we're off the tour and the record comes out so awesome awesome think you might be hitting the indianapolis area anytime on that upcoming tour possibly yes i'm, yes. I'm sure that we will hit it awesome this fall. I, I hope so probably the emerson that's where you think it's usually end up being in the city now but i can't wait hopefully we can see you down the road again and uh, man have a good rest of the tour thanks thanks a lot dude i appreciate it appreciate it